Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to My Made Girlfriend. Let me turn on the sound. There we go. Sorry about that. I was My phone was lagging, so I had to close the other ad, apps, and then my app started recording by itself. So, let's hop right into it, shall we? Resume. Episode 2. Anna puts her phone on loudspeaker. Good evening, sir. How are you doing? Doing great, thanks. Have you gathered everyone? Blech. I speak a little louder uh, so Dad can hear. Yes, Dad, we're all here. Very well, then. Let me just thank the three lovely ladies for being my son's maids. Surely you all, surely you're all a big help to my very messy junior. Cut to the chase, Dad. What is it that you want to tell us? Please take your time, sir. The other girls nod passively. To simply put, by the end of my business trip three weeks from now, I expect Junior to pick only one maid. And that's sad. I'm itchy on my mustache. Sorry, I'm going to shave this off soon. All three girls share startled faces. They almost rise to their feet. You mean I'll only get to keep one maid as my personal maid? That is correct. Choose wisely and choose with it whoever you think will take care of you the most. Oh, no, I have to choose between Anna and Mina. <gasps> no. Without even saying bye, Dad hangs up the phone. Yeah, it's like, all right, yeah, choose wisely, click. What happened now? What happens now? I give each one of them a worried glance, and they, uh, they notice. It's not a big deal, Junior. Your father is right. Three maids may be a bit too much. No choice but to be the very best. I second the motion. Though it's quite sad that Junior will only pick one. But we'll manage. What are you? Th what are your thoughts about this, Junior? I'm worried about all of you. Aw, oh, you shouldn't worry. It's not the end of the world if you won't. Don't pick us. I'm more worried about you. You tend to make dumb decisions. Hey! Ha, very funny, Kim. I don't really mind as long as Junior is happy. I need to make the best decision. But which brings me to ask, why did you ladies apply to be my maids anyway? The three girls look at me dumbfoundedly. Did I say something weird uh, about that? I believe you'll find out soon. I wonder why. Whatever your reasons are, I think it's best to listen to my dad. It's all clear now. I will be picking one maid after three weeks. Let the best maid win, I guess. Ha <laughs> ha. Indeed, I know that all of you are hardworking. It's going to be such a tough decision for me. And you're all damn cute, too. Just call in to us if you need our help, Junior. Looks like I'll spend a lot of time with all of you to see which one of you can be my personal maid. I thought of spending time with them... A licks a creepy smile from me. What's with that smile, Junior? Yet another icy cold tone from my supposed to be friend. <sighs> it's nothing. You should all get some rest. Good night, girls. They all then they greet me in chorus. Good night, Junior. Ha. They didn't say hi, I did. <laughs> I go down in the kitchen after finishing my favorite morning workout. My morning workout favorite where'd i get that from and i'm feeling famished i see snobbish little kim laying down my breakfast on the table hi stalked by a sudden appearance kim's shoulders shake and she gives me a quick head to toe look i'm wearing nothing but my jogging pants put a shirt on that's not the proper way to greet your boss kim thought i heard something good morning uh why aren't you wearing a shirt 
I still can't get used to her aloof behavior towards me. Because I just worked out and my shirt is sweaty. Makes sense. Your breakfast is ready. Thanks. Where's Anna and Mina? Anna's just teaching Mina how to operate the washing machine. They'll be here in a minute or two. I am tempted to ask why Kim's constantly cold towards me, but one look in her eyes stops me. Her eyes looked like she didn't get enough sleep. Tell me what's wrong. Kim casts me a glance. What are you talking about? Your eyes tell me you that you didn't wink. Didn't get a wink of sleep last night. Yes, but it's nothing to be concerned about. I stayed up all night studying. I feel pity towards Kim. Can she manage school duties and maid duties? Eh, <laughs> duty, I'm just kidding. I'm not like that. Can you handle your responsibilities? Hey, don't underestimate my abilities. I can balance school and work junior. After eating my breakfast, I take a long shower. I go down and see Anna dressed in her normal clothes. Does she know how gorgeous she looks in that dress? Morning, Anna. Oh, hi. I mean, good morning, Junior. I bit my tongue. Ow. Where are you off to? A date? No, of course not. I'm sorry I forgot to inform you that I have an exam for my class today. Will you let me go today? Yeah, I almost forgot. Anna is a university student who sometimes has weekend classes. No problem. Do your best, okay? By the way, Junior, can I ask you something? Go ahead. What is it, Anna? Anna pulls me aside to the foyer and whispers. You and Kim have been friends for a long time now, right? Uh, well, yes. But Kim is avoiding me, though, for reasons I don't know. And things feel awkward. And things feel awkward between you two recently? Uh, hmm. Anna really takes notes of the littlest things. I just want to ask, has Kim been acting different from you? Uh-oh, and Anna noticed too? Will saying yes answer my question about Kim, or will this entail drama? Oh, no. I don't want to lie, so I'm not going to lie to her. No, I did not press that. I pressed the... See, my phone's broken. My phone is broken completely. I see. I just thought that you guys aren't talking as much before. I hope all is well between you two. Absolutely. I feel so bad for lying. I didn't want to. I pressed the top one. I pressed the middle one. My phone's broken. I feel so bad for lying to Anna, but I guess this is between me and Kim. Kim and I, you mean. I still need to find out the real reason why Kim's being so standoffish to me. Mina greets me with a sunny smile. Is she the human equivalent of sunshine? Good morning to you, Junior. Morning to you as well. You look especially cheerful today. Looks down and pu puts her hand on her cheek. Well, uh, that's because, because it's the weekend. I think I could spend the whole day here. Her little... Stutter makes her a hundred times cuter. E. I'm gonna like. <gasps> no, my charger unhooked. But do I really need it? Yes, I do. I'm at twenty one percent. Is my phone even charging? Because it was at twenty nine before. I think my charger box is dead. No, it's not. Oh shucks, that's very nice of her. I didn't see what she said because I was plugging my charger. Oh right, right. My stock is almost empty. She was going gross, grocery shopping. Thank you for reminding me, Mina. I can really count on you. I ruffle her hair gent gingerly. She gasps and backs away. You really think so, Junior? Yay! Her and I are getting along. I do think you're dependable, Mina. Mina shuffles back and forth as if she's hesitating. I'd like you to go with me. Huh? What did you say? I didn't catch that. I I said I'd like you to go with me to do to the groceries. You mean to the grocery store? To the groceries is just going to look at the food. Sure thing. Mina, you're gonna be mine. Really? You'll go with me? I take a quick glance at Kim who's cleaning the kitchen. Will she be okay alone here in the mansion? 
What is it, Junior? Mina and I will go to the grocery. Will you be okay here? Junior, I'm not Princess Little Kim anymore. I can manage alone. Besides, I have to clean. I nod and I nod in comparisons and smile at Mina. Let's go then. Okay, thanks, Junior. It's going along perfectly. The grocery is huge, so this is where the rich guys buy their stuff. Hmm, you could say that, but I don't come here often. Oh, Junior, I'm so sorry. I think I forced you to go with me. Mina looks at me with puppy dog eyes and my knees feel wobbly. Ah, come on, don't blame yourself. I wanted to go with you. Eh, really? Oh, jeez, thank you. Don't worry, I'll, it'll be quick. Take your time. I'm not in a hurry anyway. So what do you want to get first, Junior? Let's get some veggies because I'm going healthy. But I know what I pressed on the other episode when I was playing ahead. Okay, remember... Okay, I remember that you like carrots. And you know what, uh, what, it, what is it that I remember? Mina waits for me to speak again. I remember that you used to give me white chocolates when we were in third grade. Do you remember? Of course. How could I forget? You've always been so nice to me. I see Mina's face flush and she begins to look even... Oh, to look everywhere but my direction. I can't read today. Okay, shall we look for your veggies now? She cha Oh, she's changing the topic. Ha ha ha. I grin and nod at her as we head over to the vegetables section. I didn't... Oh, we're going near to the other part that I that I felt like. Yeah, I named Y Game Y. That's why I named the episode 3, I think, over that. Or episode 2. I don't know. I didn't think grocery shopping would be this fun. Let's do this again sometime. I'm glad you had fun, Junior. I'd love to do this again with you. One sec, guys. I'm going to check if I have any apps open. Other apps. Ah, Play Store and Gmail was open. There we go. I'm not saying that's going to make my phone charge any less faster, but... Owie. Sorry about that, guys. I went all quiet because I thought my bed popped. Yes, I'm on an air mattress right now. Okay, what the hell? Is my computer on? There we go, it's charging. But I have to say thank you. I step closer towards her. Nina bites her lip and escapes from my stare. <laughs> thank you. Why are you thanking me? For volunteering to buy the groceries. And for simply being kind to me. Now her whole face resembles the color of, a pale, to of pale tomatoes. What the flip, I cannot read. I should be the one thanking you. You came all the way here with me. Thanks, Junior. But grocery shopping can be a bit tiring, going from one shelf to the other, to another. She's right. Mina looks equally exhausted, too. You okay there? She shows me her appreciative smile and nods at me. I'm fine, Junior. You must be tired, too. Poor Mina. What can I do for her? Let's go to the park and rest. Shall we get some rest at the park across? Junior, we don't we really don't have to. I feel fine. It's not as it's not an easy task to do a lot of grocery shopping, Mina. You deserve to rest. But but I'm technically your boss, Mina. Don't be a bad girl and just obey me. <gasps> Ooh, dominance much? Okay, Junior. That's kind of you. We set foot to the lush park across the grocery. Good, I'm approaching the part where I could give her that hug. Ah, it feels good to sit down after all the walking in the huge grocery. The air feels so great, too. Don't you think so, Mina? Oh, e I, yeah. I like to take walks at parks when I exercise. Do you? Mina's seen looking like a deer in the headlights. Yes. She swallows repeatedly and kicks her the sand underneath her feet. Oh, hey, something wrong. Are you okay? I touch her forehead and her eyes widen from our contact. Sorry, guys. Something in the background. Junior, I'm not sick, but there's something I want to ask. Hmm? Ask away. 
Do you know why I decided to apply as your maid? Because you want to be with me? Haha, <laughs> of course, I'm kidding. Just sighs a heavy sigh and holds a hand against her chest. Junior, you're actually right. I haven't stopped talking. Oh, wait, liking you since elementary. <gasps> Reading skills off point today. Yeah. Whoa, this cute girl still f has feelings for me? Oh, I, well, so you applied because you want to take this since, oh, take this chance to get closer. I checked Mina from my peripheral view and she's just staring at her shoes. Maybe, and because I don't want to date other guys except you, they bully me a lot. What? Guys bully you for rejecting them? Yes, they do, Junior. Yes, they do, but Junior... I'm serious about, um, about you. All right. You call my cell, not our cell. All right. You got my number on your phone? Yes. Okay, call that cell, not our cell. All right. Love you. Love you too. My mama. Embarrassing, but I'm still hoping for you to return the same interest. I'm stuck. What do I tell her? Mina, whoa, I'm speechless. I mean, thank you. You're an amazing person. I'm not sure what to say. Mina simply nods. She faces me and smiles lovingly. What can I do for Mina? Hug Mina and comfort her. Ah, I get to. I wrap my arms around Mina and give her a warm hug. Holy smokes. She's so tiny and fluffy. Oh, why would I say that? I can't assure you that I like you back. I like you back. But I can protect you from those bullies. You don't deserve those selfish guys anyway. Mina's body stiffens against mine, and I hug her tighter. Junior, what are you doing? Do you hate it? If so, push me. I know she'll just push me because she's shy. But miracles do exist. Mina hugs back, hugs me back with her palms against my back muscles. I don't hate it, Junior. You're, you're so warm. Oh, really? Then shall I make you even warmer? Where is, where is my own confidence coming from? Is it because I know she, that she likes me? Huh? I don't hesitate to pull her in closer and let her bury her head against my chest. <laughs> I could get used to this. Don't you ever date your bullies. Don't you ever date your bullies. People in the world can be bad, Nina. And you among those bad people are those... Oh, wait. And among those bad people are those guys who bullied you. How did they bully you? They sent me threatening messages and put trash in my locker. <gasps> Ass bags. Sorry. <laughs> I gripped my teeth when I heard what Mina said. How could they do this to someone who's so innocent like you? Mina's shoulder shrug against my hold. It doesn't matter, Junior. I'll try to be strong. But lean on me. Turn to me when you're hurt. You're my dear friend and no one can hurt you. Thank you, Junior. Some... Hmm? How come? Your mere touch erases so much hurt. I literally feel my cheeks burn up. Play it cool. Self, be manly. Ah, uh, yeah? Then you could tell me you're a human pain reliever. Call me. You can lean on me too, Junior. I nod slowly but surely. I release myself from the hug. I see her blushing. You really are the best, Junior. Just as I'm turning around, she gives me a, the tightest hug from behind. I can definitely feel her chest against my back. It feels surreal. Whoa there. I'll be very, I'll be the very best maid for you, Junior, I promise. Mina fell asleep in the car on the way home, and she looked like a sleeping angel. As for me, I keep thinking about her confession. I snap out of my thoughts when I open the door of the mansion. Mina's mouth is almost wide open when I take a glance at her. Mina and I are surprised by what we're seeing in the house. What could we have seen that made us surprised? Let's keep flying to find out.
Yay, green rubies. Continue on. Continue on. Episode 3. I've only been recording for... I really can't see. Is that 20? I'm going to go on for 30. So a bit of episode 3. Wow. We both marvel at the sight of the perfectly polished house that Kim cleaned. The mansion looks even better. Did you do all this cleaning, Kim? The house looks like a five-star hotel. Kim smiles at Mina as she attempts not to look at me. The silent game continues between us. Right. You even redecorated the flower arrangement. I'm very glad that you like it. Excuse me, I must iron some clothes. Uh, aha, nice to see that. No, wait. Thanks, Kim. You did a great job. It's my job as your maid. Really? What is, what is up with the nonchalant speech? I must crack a joke to lighten her mood. You almost sound robotic when you talk like that. Mina laughs a bit. Kim doesn't. Sorry, please call me if you will be needing my help for today. I shall take my leave and start ironing. Holds Mina's hand and leads her to the iron and laundry room. When will Kim go back to her usual nurturing self? As I lay on my bed to get ready for sleep, my phone rings. Ring, ring. I grab my phone from the bu from the beside table and check who's calling. It's Dad. Hello, Dad. How's work? How are you finding your maid so far? Come on, Dad. I ask how you're doing, and the first thing you ask is, uh, is about my maids. Father sniggers through the th other line. Uh -huh. Business is doing going smooth. I'm calling you to tell you something. What is it, Dad? Junior, I know how much you admire your maids, but... You cannot date any of them while they're still your maids. I really want to say no way. I don't want to go against my dad's rules. So, uh, no, I want to get with Mina. So, no way, dad. Yes, way, Junior. I realized how unprofessional it'll be if you date one of them during their stay. Dad can really be bossy. But that's too much. They're all great girls. I've got no time for your objections, son. It's the best for you and these girls. Besides, the whole purpose of this is to choose a maid who can really attend to your needs. Now I sure hope I won't fall for one of them. I suppose I can't argue with you, Dad. You do that. I have a point. I'm relieved you understand. That'll be all. Good night, Junior. Night, Dad. See you in three weeks. I hang up the phone. Although I, clo I chose not to tell my maids that dating them isn't allowed, they seem to get cuter every day. For the past week, uh, for, I've been uh, desperately trying to not be enchanted by them. But I can't. Then I decide to jog around the village to avoid them. I approach the front door of the mansion after my jog and then... I look over my shoulder. It's Anna, and she's wearing her casual clothes. Her short dress swings with the breeze, revealing a pair of smooth thighs. Nice. No, no. If you look, you'll just fall for her beauty. Junior, hi. You seem to be in deep thought. What? Me? No. No. What brings you here outside the house? Oh, I just came from school to get some books for my profession. He wants a professor. He wants the books photocopied for the whole class. Ah, doesn't your class have a class representative or something? Anna shrugs and chuckles. <laughs> yes, I know, but he's quite sick, so I volunteered to do it for him. Ha, you really know how to get people's trust with your kindness. She hits my arm lightly, and I like the feel of her soft fingers on me. Ha, <laughs> not really. It's just that I feel sorry for him. He's coughing everywhere. 
I don't realize that my jaw dropped as I appreciate her caring side. It reminds me so much of the time she took care of me. It reminds me of the time when I first fell for Anna. If you keep your mouth open, the fly is gonna come in. Ha ha ha. What are you even thinking of, Junior? The class representative probably likes you. I may be a bit jealous. Because Anna and Mina are both my favorites. Bwah ha 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 ha. Junior, you, what made you say that? You are so funny. Don't you even realize that a lot of guys like you? Anna scrunches her brows. Not really. Some guys don't like the caring type, and I'm a worry wart. Anna and I fell. No. Oh, I heard Anna and I. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. and I fell for Anna before because she's sweet and caring. Whatever you say, Anna. <laughs> Get some rest, Junior. Ah! Uh, I scream in, fr in my frustration out inside the men's bathroom. Why can't I date one of them? It's been so difficult not to get swayed by my maid's charms. I face the mirror and start talking to myself unconsciously. You! You must not like any of the girls, okay? It's not allowed. Why is Anna so feminine? And why is Mina so cute? Heh, <laughs> at least Kim's making it hard for me because she's avoiding me. I exit the bathroom and cross paths with Kim, speak of the devil. That uniform sure looks tight on her. Where are you headed? Before she could even run away from me, I block her way. To the bathroom. A couple of students pass by Kim and they congratulate her. Why are they congratulating you? Did you get a boyfriend? Flustered at the last word I uttered. What? No, my English teacher chose my essay as the best and I aced the exam. How can she manage being my maid and being the top student? How? Wow. I said how and wow at the same time. I do nothing but look at her pretty eyes. Is there something on my face? What are you staring at? You amaze me so much. I'm going to be nice. She can be a bit of a bitch to me, but I'll be nice to her. Stop it, phone. And I shouldn't develop feelings for you. Is it just my imagination or Kim is blushing at my words? Well, uh, no, don't say careless things. What I'm saying is true. You study and work so well. Uh, thanks, I gotta go. Our awkwardness seems to mellow down, but not quite yet. I have concluded that the best way to resist my maid's charms is to distract myself. So what else to do but train harder as a member of the ba school's basketball team? At least practice keeps my maid, my mind, my maid, you see, my mind off these girls. I come home from practice late at night expecting that my maids are fast asleep. Turns out I'm wrong. Welcome back. Welcome, blah, 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 blah. Welcome home, master. Master? They're calling me their master. Ah! If they call me master, they're going to be way too adorable to handle. Master? <laughs> Sorry, Junior. All three of us thought that we need to be more formal with you. It's not right if we simply call you by your first name now that you're our boss. And the name Master suits you. Does it? I don't know. Just take me now. These girls make me weak. Ah, um, I think that's fine with me. You can call me Master here at home. But call me by my name in school. The others might poke fun at me. Yes, Master. It's late. Why are you all up? We noticed that you've been coming home late due to basketball practice. So we're worried. Is there something we can do for you? <laughs> yes, the three of you should stop being cute. 
crap, I said that without even thinking. You think we're cute? Shh. Mina, if I were you, I'd laugh. Our master likes to joke around these days. Sure, the girl. Sure, says the girl who's frigid to me these days. Master, thanks for the compliment. But really, how can we be of service to you? Hmm, that's about it. I have to hit the sheets now. Good night, master. Surely I'll be dreaming of their sweet voices calling me master. Yay! Oh, I'm 30 minutes in, so by the end of this episode, like in here, I'm going to end it. The good thing about being away from my lovely maids is my, my improving basketball skills. Look what we got here, Junior. I didn't know you had this much potential. Heh. <laughs> Thanks, man. I still got work. I still got uh, on a lot of things. I still got to work on a lot of things. Oh, and will you look at that? My teammate shifts his attention to the bleachers, and I spot some girls taking their seats. Oh, why are some girls here? Ah, sorry, I forgot to tell you. We'll be training the newbies from the female basketball team. I'm so stoked. I start to laugh, but my laugh turns into a turns into a frown upon seeing someone familiar of, on the bleachers. Mina joined the team? Mina? <laughs> yes, Mina, my maid. She's here. Hell yeah, I can definitely see her nice proportions. I want to smack my teammate's head for talking that way about Mina. But why is Mina here? I'm trying to keep my distance from my maids. Are you in for the demo game? It's time to show these girls what we got. Count me in. I'd rather immerse myself in the game than think about Mina's form in her uniform. Form in uniform. Nice. Our team starts playing basketball. I'm getting three pointers and cheers from the girls. I shout at my teammates. Pass the ball. Then I get distracted by Mina's Mina. She's jumping up and down while shouting my name. I can see her jumping up and down, and I can see things. Compose yourself. I was just about to say that, literally, before that appeared. I was, I was about to say, like, dude, compose yourself. Get your head in the game, mister. I score well in the basketball demo game, though. After the demo game, the coach decides it's time to help the newbie girls with training. I am beyond grateful that the coach assigned me to a different girl. But I hate that my teammates are taking advantage of Mina's shyness. Mina, aren't you so cute? I see Mina flinching. Not wanting to think of Mina any longer, I just divert my attention to my partner. I have to thank her for being such a fast learner. After practice, I volunteer to stay and return the balls to the shelf. And I thought everybody went home. Why is Mina still here? Master, I mean, Junior, can I have a word with you? Yes, Mina. Yes, Mina? I make sure to give her an unnoticed head-to-toe scan. Her sweaty self looks divine. That's kind of creepy. Uh... I'll, I just want to know if you're all right with me joining the basketball team. Ha? Huh? Of course. Who am I to say no? Great. To be honest, I do have a reason why I've joined the team, Junior. What is it? Bites her lip, hesitant, hesitating to speak. You might not like my reason, Junior. Heck no. Whatever your reason is, I know I'll understand. So please, Mina, let me in your thoughts. Uh, you see, Junior, I saw you play basketball when we were in third grade. Go on. I'm all ears. <laughs> I fold my arms across my chest and lean closer to her. And as I lean, my eyes zoom to her sweaty PE uniform. No, no. Look away. Look away. <laughs> I saw you play basketball that day and you seemed really happy. Hmm. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I really like basketball, Mina. And so, and so, Mina taps her foot on the gym floor. Why does she look so dense? It's not like we're talking about politics or history i put my hand on each side of her shoulders and look straight into her i can see the color of her eyes clearly junior i'm sorry i don't think i can say it she tries to turn her back from me but i hold her shoulders mina 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 
You've already started telling me things. Don't you think you should finish what you're saying? Squirms like jelly. Okay, I'm sorry, Junior. So you were saying that you saw me play ball, and then... Because you look so happy when you play, I thought maybe I should try basketball, too. Ah, so... In short, you're looking for something to relieve you from stress? Shakes her head. Not quite, Junior. I joined a team to get to know you better. I knew it! And I wanted to understand what's with basketball that makes you happy. Aw, what a sweet girl, but no. No, I will not fall. You joined the team because of me? Mina nods shyly. I hope you're not mad. Mina, why in the world would I be mad? I'm glad that you joined the team. Really? Really, Junior? Thank you. I'll give it my best shot. So that's why she joined the team? Quite a cute move, I must say. But don't get carried away. You cannot like any of your maids, idiot. <laughs> then do well, Mina. Oh, what the flip? We I survived another trading session yesterday without really noticing Mina's beauty. Really, because I could have recalled that you were staring at her phys ed uniform. Or I was, but not me, like literally, like the guy in the game. I walk along the hallways and think of more ways to dodge my maid's charms. Oh, or maybe I should start dating some other girls. No. I, un I unconsciously say my thoughts out loud to a cer for a certain someone to hear. Ah, oh, you planned a date? Ah, oh, she heard me. Ha, huh? yes, I mean, no way, I'm not interested. I stutter in the worst possible way, but I see Kim let out a modest chuckle. Oh, hey, that's not fair. Those dimples of her should be illegal. Ha, huh, you stutter when you lie. You know what? Maybe I'll tell you the truth if you aren't so cold to me lately. Haha, ha, apply cold water on burned area. Opens her mouth to reply, but my phone buzzes. It's a tax from Anna. Yeah, good to have lunch with her. I'll talk to you later, alligator. She rolls her eyes and walks away. I proceed to read Anna's text. Junior, would you like to eat lunch with me? I'm passing by your school to get my old school records. Yes, let's eat lunch together. I send her a text. Yes, let's eat lunch together. Her reply comes swiftly. Yay, meet me at the school garden. How? <gasps> Yay! I immediately spot Anna sitting on one of the benches. Just wow, the class of a university student is so alluring. Curse myself for saying yes to Anna's invite, but I just can't reject any food that Anna makes. By the... But they say that the best way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Can't say no now. Hi, Anna. Hi there. Take a seat, Junior. Thanks for agreeing to meet me. Ah, so you're here in school to get some of your school records? Anna nods enthusiastically. Yep, my university organization is requiring some records of mine in high school. Brilliant timing. It's my lunch break. Ha. I was about to head back to my university, but I remembered that I have packed lunch with me. And it's great since it's lunch break for you. Excuse me, she takes out a contain containers filled with delicious looking food. I think I'm salivating. I could smell the aroma of eggs, shrimp, cooked rice. No one can really top your cooking, Anna. You flatter me too much, Junior. Hurry, eat before it gets cold. I involuntarily look at Anna and then the beautiful aura surrounding her. Thank you, Anna. So many guys would kill to taste your cooking, but I choose you, Master. Master! <laughs> she whispers the last word sneakily. It makes me shiver. I take the fork and poke through the egg roll. Then I taste it. What can I say? You make ordinary food taste like paradise on earth. Anna laughs, but what I said isn't a joke. Junior, just keep talking like that and you'll end up being a school playboy. Do you think I'm kidding, Anna? I always mean what I say. Out of the ordinary, I see Anna get flustered. She then, sh she then steals the fork from me. Just because you're so good with words today, let me feed you. Say, ah, 
Ah! Calm down. Being read by auto will automatically make me fall in love, right? I take my, I take the bait and open my mouth. She feeds me and grins. Oh no! Ah, uh, and so Anna continues to feed me. So well, like I'm her baby. Oh boy. And that, my folks, is the best school lunch in the universe. Oh boy. I wait for my car to fetch me from school. As usual, I get greeted by random girls whose matters don't, I don't even know. Junior, I saw you during the basketball practice. You're so good. Er, really? Thank you. <clears throat> Can you give me a one-on-one -on -one session sometime? That just... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, but her weird tip lip bite confuses me. Ha, uh, um, maybe you can join the basketball team. After a few more chats with the girl, she asked for my number, but I declined. Again, stranger danger is dad's motto. I looked at her right and see Anna approaching me. She's carrying her bag along with some books. Ah, uh, she's probably on her way home from university. The girl immediately leaves upon seeing Anna. Junior, it's you again. I'm just going home from university. I have, I have cookies that I failed to give you earlier. Care to try them? Did you bake them? Yep, I was going to hand them over to you this morning, but I slipped, uh, slipped my mind. Hope you don't mind me using your new oven last night, though. Heck, she could use my kitchen forever and give me glorious food. Oh, use it as you wish. Really, thanks. Here, try the cookies. She hands me the container full of green tea cookies, and I take one. They smell good. I take a huge bite. How does it taste, Junior? Tasty as usual. Tasty as usual. For real? Thanks, Junior. I'm honestly, I'm honestly so relieved that you like it. I don't think I can dislike anything you make. Stop being so sweet, Junior. Just saying the truth. Then I shall take your word on for it. Anna and I talk some more as if, as I wait for my car. Why can't I date her? Nor Mina, nor Kim. But I don't want to date Kim. Uh, she's being so mean to me. I get lost in the in my fantasies about Ben until I feel Anna tap my shoulder. Eartha Jr., are you alright? Why? Yeah, sorry, I spaced out. You want to ride home with me? It looks like it'll rain. Anna's smile fades and her mood grows serious. Sorry, I can't ride with you, but we have to talk later. She pauses and speaks again. I have to tell you something. Something very important. What is it that Anna wants to tell me? What could it be? I just, I must keep playing. Yay, everyday Ruby. You've reached the end of the episode. Restart this episode to try another choices or continue on to the next episode. Next episode. Episode four. All right, well, thank you all for watching. That was My Made Girlfriend. Well, with mods, obviously. Yeah, I'm actually enjoying this. Like, some of the choices. Wow, like, honestly. Like, I got fed. I got closer to Mina and Anna. But Kim, she's still being a little meech to me. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want more things like vlogs, gaming, reaction, and challenges. Like I said in a, a recent video uh, that I forgot to upload because my power went up. But then I'm like, wait, what's the point of posting? That would have been pre-recorded and my power would have came back on. So, yeah, like I said, maybe on Monday, well, tomorrow, maybe tomorrow in school, I'm going to do a bottle flip challenge at lunch with my friends. Yes, that's going to be fun. But I'm going to get my friend Dylan to record it. Because I can only record from a front view. Because my back view camera sucks. If you see that subscribe button's red, hit it, make it gray. How you know you're subscribed is a little bell icon will appear next to it. Punch that so you can get notified on when I upload. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video of My Made Girlfriend. Au revoir.